<clears throat> world of YouTube. I am back again. Yet another video. Which I have been... Meaning to make, but it's been slipping my mind because... Of the simple fact... That I... Huh, even though a dream occurred... And it was actually not by me, by my wife. And looking up, and I even got a screenshot photo on my phone of a missing person. And supposedly of Fitchburg. But I've been letting this go due to the simple fact that every time I go tap on this article in the missing person section usually more information would come up but I guess it's been deleted or taken off as it claims when you do it but dreams to me do not lie and they tell a story and the way I've been going through shit in the past year and stuff's been happening, I think I've dragged my wife into this too. Even though she's had dreams in the past, but where I've opened up more doors and now that I, um, it's just fucking insane. <laughs> But due to now a second dream that my wife had, and she also had a dream a couple years ago, mind you, that I may add in, I don't think I documented that, but three years ago, I read a news obituary of my wife's cousin. And there was a whole uproar because it said in the article, and it said, pretty much the same place where the guy lived in Maine and it was just fucking crazy like I said this is insane I don't know why this came up and I don't know why but it was like I believe it was like the same address the same Maine phone number and this and that and it claimed that he died and, you know, her and her cousin went, oh, was talking about it and everything. Oh, did he die? Did he die? Did he die? So I said, hell, I'll find out. So I calls. And lo and behold, the guy answered the phone. <laughs> no, I'm alive and kicking. And I said, well, I read an article. Damn, you were dead. You know, she's just wanting to know. I called and he was alive. I said, what the fuck? But lo and behold... There's no fucking lie. And I haven't brought this forth yet either. And it's just, I've just been, you know, prolonging it. But now, I'm going to be doing an investigation on my own. And I will have to call the police. But what sucks is, <laughs> I don't want to think, and I know all this kind of information about this person missing in Fitchburg and then think I'm but hopefully if I want to explain what I'm going to explain now it will make sense but of course I'm not going to tell him what I'm going to tell now but if I have to I will you know in, a, in that si sight of sort but no, no sooner did I call my wife's relative a year or two years later <laughs> He comes to a dream to her. Says, oh, I'm dead now. See you later. Bye. And I was like, what? She woke up the next day and, you know, said, hey, that's right. You are not this dream I had. And she don't want nothing to do with the other side. Me, though, on the other hand, I do. Because I believe dreams also are message in that. Right there says it all. A cousin. <laughs> it was like. I don't know if I can call it a forerunner. 
But that is for people that see themselves when they're dead. And it's spelled F-O-R-E, not the number four. But like you would call your forefathers. And a forerunner I have a book on. And that's what a forerunner is. Something you see of your death. A person that comes to you. But it is you dead in the future. And I believe that exists. But I don't know if I can call the relative thing a forerunner. But I seen the death. You know, I was looking it up for her because... I mean, I was... What had happened, I was looking up to see if I could find him to see where she lived, or he lived. And she wanted to know, you know, because she was just curious, of course. Whatever happened to him, and he used to be around all the time. We always used to see him around here in the area, and then, you know, he disappeared, so that's why I got curious. But then, like I said, start searching the fucking that article dead, so... Like I said, I don't know if I can call that a forerunner. But anyways... Now it leads to the next thing. And I'm just kind of like, whoa. (laughs) And I don't know why these people don't come to me in dreams. For I'm the one that does it, but... With my ugly looks, (laughs) you can say I must scare... I must scare the spirits. I don't know if it's that the way I look. I would say so. Because she did have a dream of an evil entity telling her to tell me to stop doing what I'm doing. And then something tragic happened after that. Very seriously. And I can tell you right now, it's in a video up. It's called Freak Accident. If anybody wants to check that out, but... You know, where that happened... Now I should take in consideration of these next two dreams. And that is a girl, a young girl came into my woman, my yeah, woman, my wife's dream. Yeah, she is my woman. <laughs> but in my wife's dream and uh, told her that she's dead and she needed help to be found. And she told her to leave. I don't want no part of it. Leave me alone. Da, da, da. Then she said she woke up out of it and just shook it off. But yet she tells me, and yet my wife don't like what I do, but. And then the second dream. Now this is the more spookier part, and creepier, as the girl is getting strangled and held down and raped, screaming help. So whatever who, whatever or whoever this spirit is, is looking for help, and I believe <laughs> Call me crazy, but what's been happening to me in the past two years, you can say what you will. <laughs> and I think a lot of, of the spirits of the dead now are gonna maybe, maybe try and <laughs> come for me for help. I don't know, because that's what I'm basing my videos on, too. <laughs> try and do my help what I can. To the missing and the dead. And then you got that girl in Sterling. Oh no, excuse me. Princeton. Right off the base of Mount Wachusett. They got raped. Burned to death the executive worker of Google. She got murdered, raped. But yet they can't find the killer. And I would have been meaning to go over there and try and do a video of talking to the phone type thing and see if I get some answers from the dead. And you never know, I might get something, but I'll tell you right now. Like I said, I found this picture of a girl supposedly missing. When I showed it to my wife, the girl wore glasses. The girl had long hair. And mentioning the girl is look part, maybe even full Spanish. 
But if that is true, and there is a girl missing of that name, and I have a screenshot, which I'm going to put up in the uh, thumbnail video of this. And if you want to take a look. <laughs> but when I showed that picture of my, to my wife, she said, oh, oh, Jesus. So you never know. <laughs> you never know what may lurk. What's looking for help? And I'm most definitely gonna look into this now due to this second dream. And like I said, due to her relative coming. I mean, if they're coming to her, and I mean, whatever. They don't come to me, like I said. I don't know why, but I've opened up doors. And even if I do, goddamn for sure, I solve a murder mystery. Huh. I don't know what the future will lie before me, but I can tell you one thing. <laughs> All I can say is I can definitely say that I'm here as an advocate for the dead. I mean, hey, fucking people gonna think I'm crazy. As I rant and talk here and but when shit like this comes up I just can't leave it alone and like I say one day this is gonna be a full-time job for me and this is, like I say <laughs> the other day YouTube people came up and what they make on these videos and I'm trying to fund it on gofundme.com YouTube channel funding and you know, whenever I get my funds in my funds to fund me you know I would first get my life settled because of course I might be going homeless for the fourth time a lot of shit I'm trying to do but of course I keep getting fucking roadblocks in my fucking face nothing like hitting a brick wall just when you get back up on your feet, it sucks. But all I can do is uh, keep making these videos and hopefully more stuff like this comes up because I can tell you, man, not only believe me if I'm literally freaked the fuck out my own self about shit like this, but definitely can't leave it alone. I've definitely gone into another dimension. And I'll guarantee it ain't a dimension of insanity, but could be. But this insanity is bringing stuff forth that obviously something beyond the dead I'm here for to help. Whether it be a dead mental patient, dead girl raped, whatever it may be. Or just a dead person that's been dead for so long and don't know why. <laughs> well, I guess I can sit here and laugh and say, hey, I'm here for a purpose now. Shit, hell yeah. And I love coming out here in the dark, staring through my woods. Giving a light. You know, when I do my stories and stuff, short stories, I have been doing them online and like this YouTube. Tell people to sit back, relax, and use your own imagination to put piece together of my writing or my thoughts and theories and stick them in your head. And, and you'll get a full view vision of your own world what you could have or see or do. Sometimes it could be from my words or something that you can just make up yourself. And maybe you will once open up doors you don't know that there that are there. Another dimension, another world. You know, I'm not. I'm. I'm ready to take my beliefs and my fun and time into the world of the dead. Hey, a lot of unsolved mysteries out there that need to be solved. 
And I guess this girl would be one of them. You know, I'm getting close to that Taj Narbon due to the last video I did on him in the woods where I believe he's dead and gotten some noise out there. So, never know. Never know. When I thought I'd share that, I needed to document it and I've been pushing it off, but the second dream it occurred, so here it is. So until the next video, YouTube Nation, like I said, many more to come. If I do get some, you know, dead air time in there, it's due to the fact that I'm going through some real bad times. Of course, that had to happen all around Thanksgiving, Christmas. Hooray! What a fucking day. Or a life, or time, or blah, whatever. You all take care. I did add a new video up of the uh, bright light out there tonight. It's still shining up there, but it ain't as bright as earlier. Huh. Oh, yeah. Something going down, I believe. I'm going to find out, figure it out. But, until the next video, world of YouTube, I said earlier, be safe, take care, have a very Merry Christmas, and an awesome New Year. May all your New Year re resolutions be right. Out.